welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. In this video is my mid-month check-in for my Def Leppard panning project, Let's Get Panned. Woohoo! Now I did do the intro to this panning project a couple of weeks ago, and I explained the premise behind this panning project, so I'll just give you a quick summary of what this panning project entails. So a while back, Deb B, the panning goddess, reached out to me and said, I really want to do a Def Leppard panning project. I know how much you love Def Leppard. And I'm pretty sure Deb was aware of my want to do a panning project. I've been wanting to do one for quite some time. Just kind of got overwhelmed by them and didn't really know how to start one. <laughs> So she said, let's do this. And I'm like, absolutely. And then she said, why don't we have Andy from Andy Does Stuff join us and we can all have a ton of fun together. I'm like, Deb, that would be awesome. I love Deb and I love Andy. Now there are 24 prompts in total for this panning project and they're all based on Def Leppard song titles. Uh, each title has a prompt assigned to the song title. And then, of course, you pick a product that represents the prompt that represents the song title. Now, I did go over all of the 24 prompts in my intro video. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to kind of quickly get through this for you so it's not too long and dragging on and on. But if you're interested to know what all the prompts are, if you missed my intro video, I would definitely check that out. I'll link that in my description box so you can get like the full picture here. So my goal was to randomly choose five of the song titles and prompts with my random generator app. And then of course, pick five corresponding products for those prompts. And my goal ultimately is from the 25th of March to the 25th of April to use each of these five products at least 10 times. Now, of course, I'm at the two week check-in and there are two products that I did use the full, all 10 times. Uh, there's three things I wasn't able to use 10 times in the two week period since I did my intro, basically just because I got sick and I wasn't doing my makeup. So that kind of threw a damper onto things. But I'm just going to continue to use those three products until April 25th. I will definitely get over the 10 uses, but just wanted to have at least a minimum of 10 uses for each product. So let me show you the products I pulled in for this go round, uh, let you know how many times I use them. And then I'm also going to be cycling out two products and pulling in two new ones. Okay, so let me get my little cheat sheet out here. So the first uh, random prompt that I selected was the song title, Let It Go. And that is an item that is older and needs to be used before it goes bad. And I use this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. And that is this blush right here. This is the Pixie by Petra Fresh face blush, I think it is. Yeah, fresh face blush in the shade Ginger Blossom. And, you know, I still need to use it at least two more times, but I'm going to continue to use this until the end of the month and see just, or until April 25th, and see just how many uses I can get out of it. But look at, you can see a little bit of pan right there. <gasps> so excited. So I'm hoping that by April 25th, that is much larger. You know, I'm just going to keep using this blush, keep using it pretty much every time I do my makeup and see how many uh, uses I can get until the 25th of April. And then of course, this will be cycled out at my next check-in. So the next prompt or song title that I randomly selected uh, was Paper Sun. And that is a product that contains SPF or makes you look tan. And I grabbed this product right here. This is the Tula Skincare uh, Probiotic and Superfoods uh, Protect and Glow daily sunscreen gel. So I just kind of use this as my moisturizer getting right out of the shower. And I use this 12 times. Very cool. So this I'm going to cycle out and I'll randomly select a different song title and prompt uh, so that I'm always having five products in use throughout this panning project. But this is an awesome product. It has that wonderful sunscreen smell that I love. It's very moisturizing. It feels really nice on my skin. And, uh, you know, I'm, I might still continue to use this because I'm really enjoying it. And there's quite a bit of this left. Uh, I'm pretty sure Darcy, the brand owner of Saints Angel Sinners, sent this to me just as a little gift, which was really cool. Uh, yeah, it's just a really nice formula. I really like it or like nice consistency. You know, sometimes these types of products make your skin feel kind of dried out, it does not do this at all. And I really felt like this worked really well underneath my base product. So that was really cool. Okay, so the third song title I randomly selected or randomly generated, whatever, is Rocket. 
a product you think is out of this world fave in any category. And that is this beauty right here. This is the Maybelline Eraser Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And this is the shade Ivory. I use this 10 times. So this is going to get cycled out and I'll randomly uh, generate another uh, song title and prompt and product. But this is my favorite concealer I've ever used. I've repurchased this I don't know how many times. It just works so well on my aging skin. You know, it doesn't settle in my fine lines and wrinkles. It's very lightweight. I just love it. Wonderful, wonderful to use this again. Uh, the fourth uh, song title that I randomly generated with the prompt and product and all that good stuff is White Lightning. <laughs> That's an inside joke that myself, Shawnee, and Jan have. That is a product that gives you a glow or white product slash packaging. And for that, I chose this powder right here, this finishing powder. This is Makeup Mecca Miracle Powder Perfect Satin Skin in the shade Starlet. And this is just a really nice, you know, finishing powder, setting powder, however you want to call it, uh, that has a very subtle sheen to it. It's so beautiful and it works really well with the more matte foundation. And my dear friend, uh, Linda, who lives in Sweden, she sent this to me and I just love this. This is one of my favorite powders in my collection. I only use this eight times and I don't know why I didn't use it 10. I just didn't, I don't know. I wasn't doing my makeup and then I think I just, one day I just decided to use a different powder because I used a more dewy foundation. But this, of course, I will keep in the panning project and see how many more times I can use it until April 25th. And the last song title that I randomly generated is Women, and that is a product from a woman-owned brand. And I felt like this product was perfect for that prompt. And this is the Queen Nubia Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in the shade Hustling Hutley. Now, this is one of the most, if not the most, blingy highlighters that I own in my collection. It's so beautiful. I mean, you can definitely see my face from outer space. And it just works so well. You know, it stays adhered to my face all day. It's gorgeous. Like, very disco ball-y. And I'm just having a blast using this. But unfortunately, I only use this seven times. So this is going to stay, of course, in the panning project until April 25th. I'm hoping to get a ton more use out of this. So, But of course, when I check in again, I'll let you know. So now for the really fun part. I'm going to generate two more song titles at random. I'll let you know what the prompts are. And then I'm going to uh, pick products for the prompts, of course. So let me go into my random picker app here. Hysteria. Okay, this one I haven't done yet. Hysteria. A product that drives you crazy. Either good crazy or bad crazy. Okay, so I'll have to go pick a product for that. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to pick yet. And then number 23, which I have really heard that one. Mm -hmm. Again, come on, man. 16, ooh, pour some sugar on me. Product that is sticky or contains sugar. Okay, so I am going to go grab two products that correspond with those prompts. I'll be right back. Okay, so for the Hysteria, the product that drives you crazy, I, I chose something that's good, drives me good crazy. And that is the Iconic London Bronzer. This is the, let's see, Ultimate Bronzing Powder in Medium. And I just think this is such an amazing bronzer. Like this is my favorite bronzer in my collection now. I still really like the Maybelline City Bronzer, but this is just the one I always grab for because I, I don't know, I just think it's such a great tone for my skin tone. And I don't know, it just, it doesn't make my face look dirty. Sometimes bronzers can make my face look like I rolled around out in the front yard. <laughs> this does not do that. And I just love it and it's huge. And I really wanna get as much use out of this as I possibly can. So I felt like this would be the best product for that. And then for pour some sugar on me, uh, a product that is sticky or contains sugar, I thought I would grab my warm vanilla sugar lotion from Bath and Body Works. My daughter got this for me a while ago and I've used some of it, but I would like to use all of it, of course. So again, this is gonna be, both of these products are gonna be pulled in. And by uh, from here until the end of the month, I'm gonna try to use them 10 times. And if I don't, I'll just keep them in the project, but yeah. So yeah, that, that's what I'm doing, you guys. That, those are all the products. So I still have the blush, the loose highlighter, the miracle powder, and now I have the bronzer and the lotion. 
So I will be checking in with you guys around April 25th and letting you know how many more times I use those three products that I've had since the beginning. And then also how many times I've used the lotion and the bronzer. This is just so fun, you guys. I'm loving this. And this is going to be a year-long panning project. I got the, my ducks in a row finally around that. So yeah, this is so fun. So of course, I will be obviously recycling some of these prompts again uh, throughout the year, of course, but just different products. It's going to be awesome. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section. I love to chat with you guys there. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video. But in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and I will see you soon. Bye! Drop it.